Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Nirman. In this session, we gonna learn a quick hack that will help you to implement wind load with a much faster way. Now see, in the traditional method, what we generally do, we specify the wind load definition over here, right? Based on the height and intensity, we will implement the values over here. Then we will specify our wind load case with the specifications of the range based on on the factor that we have available right and here we need to specify the ranges based on that it will implement your wind load in a particular direction right so in this particular method it will be little lengthy to specify range with each of the segment right which is perpendicular to your wind direction so for example in this particular a pipe rack sample if i have to specify my wind load in the x direction what i have to do i have to specify all these ranges so here i have to specify ranges for all these particular frames in the x direction right which is perpendicular to my direction and here it will be little lengthy because i have to specify the ranges for x y and z right now here is a quick hack now let's understand how you can save your time and implement the wind load with the shortest method. So let's understand the stat editor part. Now here is a quick hack. So what you have to do is you have to specify your wind load direction that is x. Implement the force coefficient based on your calculation. Here is the wind definition. Then write down open member and specify your group new now keep in mind that this particular feature is available for your stat editor part only now the same command you have to incorporate in your stat editor so your first task is to create a group right so first of all you have to select your members and create a group for the x direction as well as for the z direction let's say i want to implement wind load in the x direction right so i have to create a group for the x direction so the members which are perpendicular to x direction i will select all the members and create a group right now so for your understanding uh, i have created a group press ctrl g that's the shortcut for your create group command tab so it will appear something like this now see i have specified the name as underscore wind underscore x frame okay so similar in a similar way you can create a group if i click on highlight you can observe all the members which are perpendicular with the x direction these are selected and i have formed a group now make sure when you create a group uh, it will not allow it will not allow a particular name with spacing right so you can utilize the underscore option to create a group name so similar manner you have to create your group i have created wind x frame now the same group name i will utilize in the stat editor command in the editor part also one important thing this particular feature will help you in the wind definition for the open structure category structures without cladding now let's work out now let's check out how it will work so i'll go to the stat editor quickly for wind load in x direction now let's go quickly to the So here is the 6101 load case where we have implemented wind load in x direction based on the range specification. Now let's hide this first. Now as I have explained earlier to you, if I the same definition, let's unhide this. So the command will be, so here I have specified that particular command in the stat editor already so what is the command 
that we have already understood wind load in x direction your force coefficient type specification open member and here is the group name now let's check out whether it will work or not so again I'll go to the main stat pro tab now let's check out so I'll go to the loading part again and see as you can see over here you have implemented wind load with the use of the group segment so as you can see the wind load is implemented with the correct manner the way we have implemented earlier with the range method so this one is one of the shortest method you can use similarly you can use for the z direction as well okay keep in mind that the member selection should be perpendicular to your wind load right and similarly you can implement your wind load in the z direction so i hope this short trick will help you out share this with other engineers who needed this thank you keep learning keep sharing